TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch, we are not live, but you can leave a lot. My bad. Comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the U to the UK and all around the world. You know what I'm saying? Because this is in Denmark. We're going to check it out, though. Man, if you do happen to miss a live, this is where it will be. Don't forget, we also have the Patreon. We're voting for new shows right now, man. So if you're not a member, become a member, man. It's only like $3 USD. It's nothing. Don't forget, we got a Discord as well, man. But if you can't, you can't. I get it. You know, it's a housing crisis. How many Norway prisons are... How Norway di prisons are different from America? Okay. I hope this don't irritate me too bad. <laughs> not like I'm going to anybody's prison, but... I'm... Staying in a maximum security prison is not a normal life. But that's also an ambition. To reduce the feeling of being in a prison as much as possible. And in here, you have uh, my cell. So I have uh, DVD and uh, movies from there. The basic question that we ask ourselves in Norway, what kind of neighbor do we really want? Uh, because they could move into my neighborhood and they could move into your neighborhood. So uh, I think this is an important question to ask ourselves, really. That should have an influence on how we work inside prisons. The U.S. has the world's largest incarceration population with 655 out of every 100,000 people being, but damn. You ain't got to break it down to me like that. Miami is crazy, too. They got a large prison population here. But Norway's incarceration is 60 out. Okay. It's not for, for the prison to judge or to punish. We have to interact and be human. I think it's as simple as that. Learning from Norway, the most innovative prison in the world. Let me just move, bro, because I'm not going to keep pausing and reading this. I am one of the best editors on the platform, so it's really not hard for me. Simple. <laughs> Most important thing is how we treat people. This is the four key elements. That's period. That is the most important thing. Elements that I would like you to remember. The principle of normality, the focus that we have in Norway on humanity inside prisons, what we call dynamic security, and the emphasis that we put on reintegration into society. In the fall of 2019, okay. I would say the main goal of the trip. Oh, these are activists. Okay, I thought these were people that like could change things. My bad, no offense. Is for inspiration to go bold back in the United States. Wait, what was her job title? To Project Director Vera. Go bold back in the United States. Let's talk a little bit more about Holden then. How do we work and what are the unique, unique things about us? This came out two years ago. Wait, 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 wait. Chill, chill. I'm going to rewind it, don't worry. Because I've seen some things. Myself. So I have uh, DVD and uh, movies from there. Here we have a real toilet with a shower and everything. Porcelain. Porcelain to the right, porcelain to the left. You know, you can see everybody have their key. Uh, so they can open. Uh, they open their own cell? Uh, or close to their doors whenever they want. Even though it's nicer, it's still not a summer camp. But I would like you to, you know, look behind. 
Honestly, it looked like a summer camp to me. Beyond the facilities, it's not the most important thing. Normality. So we, this is the cell. Every cell is uh, similar. And uh, here we have the kitchen, where I uh, used to prepare the food. You can see here, it's inside here. So the kitchen's not off somewhere else and there's not just a big cafeteria. You can go just whenever you feel like it and make your own instead of, you know, creating hot pots and kettle boilers and you could just go to the kitchen and make up. That's a really important principle in Norway, which talks about that taking someone's liberty away and taking them away from their family, away from their community, that in of itself is the punishment. So life inside prisons should look as normal to life in the community as possible. And in here, you have this uh, washing room. You can uh, wash the clothes and... Uh... In unit washer and dryer? What's this little condominium? What's... Right. Staying in a maximum security prison is not a normal life. And I noticed you're wearing just you're just wearing normal clothes. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, that's allowed. Um, you can wear whatever you want. Um. But that's also an ambition to reduce the fee. That's the same in the UK. That you can wear whatever you want, right? In America, nope. You're getting a uniform. You're getting orange jumpsuits. Feeling of being in a prison as much as possible. That's. No, the normality principle. How you can normalize the correctional setting for individuals to transition out, bigger challenge in our system, um, but definitely something to think about. The commissary, the stores where an individual... Get, get, stop it. So now they got a corner store. It's not even like a real commissary where you put in the order. You can just go in there and like ask the Jewel Osco or Publix or Aldi actually gets to go to a real store and pick out commissary items. Ben and Jerry's fresh fruit? I think that's a, a good add, adds to the normalization. We think this is the most important part. Dynamic security sounds like a very fancy thing, but it's really just having a normal interpersonal relations between the officers, or all staff really, and the inmates. Every inmate has a primary contact officer, and every officer had to have two or so three. It's almost like a social worker, but he's also your security. Three inmates that he's the, you know, the contact officer for. That was the ambition, from guard to also be a social worker. I knew it. The main subjects at the academy, ethics, psychology, communication technique, criminology, law, human rights. Of course, they do learn self-defense. They do learn. This is good, though. This part, man, because the one thing that always bothers me is prison security guards, man. That be bothering me the most, bro. They be giving Intel IP software managers working at, you know what I'm saying? Like, Extraction techniques. Now they, they got do learn. real they work as officers. Team. But that's not, you know, that's not Trained the major fully. components. It's about how do you treat people respectfully. <laughs> My family always think that I just play games because that's why I like very much to play games. So uh, I often play uh, uh, play cards and stuff with a uh, with. I feel like any woman named Edith is a good woman. That's a good woman right there, Edith. I know it. Nice. I know in some states it's, you know, forbidden and will have consequences for you if you interact with inmates as a staff member. Quite the opposite here. We expect uh, and demand an interaction between staff and inmates. It's kind of friendship with someone. Um, and to see the progress and see the changes, that's the best way to drop. The, the contact officer is, for example, sitting down with you and making you a future Plan. Huh? So what for and um, steps by steps to be, become a free man? From, from day one? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The officers need to know everything about the system and give advice. 
to the uh, to the inmates about you know the future, what steps should they take? Recidivism. Photos of my daughter, big love of my life. I've been here for one and a half year, but I was transferred from a prison in Brazil. You can compare that to come from hell to heaven. <laughs> it's, it's a big difference. The guards, first of all. Uh, yeah, that's a huge difference. Brazil to here, Brazil, it was 40 men in a, in a 10 by 10 probably. Uh, in Brazil, the guards are uh, more you feel bad and weakness, the more they feel good. Here you have the guards, you know, they, they was very kind to me when I came, they are still very kind. Um, we can speak, you know, they treat me as an, a, a human being. Um, in, in Brazil you get treated like an animal. I've been working here since uh, the opening in uh, 2010, and I've been working other prisons before that also. It's not for, for the prison to to judge or to punish because the police catch the guy. Honestly, I can't even be mad at this prison. I thought I was gonna, this was gonna make me irritated, but it's just not. They're going about it the 100% correct way. I can't even say nothing. It goes to the court and, the, and it gets sentenced perhaps. And then it comes to prison with that. We have to interact and be human. It's, I think it's as simple as that. It really is because we can, uh, we can uh, create uh, walls between us, but that doesn't help anything. We have to communicate, we have to interact. Without approaching people with respect and dignity, it's impossible to sit down the next day and talk about his future because he will not have any trust in you. So uh, in order to, you know, work well with reintegration and future planning etc there has to be you know a foundation there of trust between the staff and the inmates it's facts i've visited a lot of prisons in the united states as well and somehow i don't have the same kind of feeling of you know relief of getting out of an impressive environment that i that i've experienced coming out of those prisons mm -hmm. i think that says something about how different the environment is here. I think uh, I have big opportunities uh, here to, to prepare myself for, for the life uh, after uh, prison. I thought there, there is still hope, there is still opportunities, you know, to, to get, a, get a good life after uh, getting out. So, yeah. I can't even cap, man. That's a W prison, W approach, W staff, W way of doing things, man. Take notes, USA, and almost the UK too. It's tough.